So many women ask me, Dagmar, how can I create more pelvic floor relaxation? So I have decided to make this delicious pelvic floor nidra guided practice for you that has a potential to serve you twofold. The first thing is that it creates a deep relaxation inside of your pelvic floor, inside of your womb and inside of your ovaries. And the second piece is that it fosters an environment of deep rest and deep rejuvenation in your entire body. Now, before I take you through the practice, I would like to share with you the difference between pelvic floor stretching and pelvic floor relaxation. So as women, we can be carrying tension in different parts of the body. For some women, it's back, for some women, it's jaw, and of course, the shoulders are very, very common. So if stresses and tensions of the world sets into the shoulder, as a result, over time, this becomes like the resting state inside a woman's body. And it's one thing to try to stretch this out by maybe pulling the shoulders back or guiding the head and neck certain way. And it's a completely different thing to just drop the shoulders, which is however decision that happens deeply in the unconscious networks of the brain. And the same thing holds true for the pelvic floor. It's one thing to try and stretch it by doing different hip stretches or yoga asanas. And it's a different scenario to foster deep, deep relaxation inside of the pelvic floor musculature. Now, I have noticed that so many women struggle with the chronic tension inside of their pelvis and inside of their pelvic floor. The physical manifestation of that can be issues such as vulvodynia, which is a chronic tension inside of the vulva, vaginismus, pain during sex, or on the other side of the spectrum in terms of the pelvic floor, there can be a challenge of emptying the bladder fully and feeling like you need to go to the bathroom over and over again, but also challenge with urge incontinence is a direct manifestation of chronic pelvic floor tension. So this is like the first thing I do with my new mothers who might have gone completely disconnected from their vaginal canal, from their pelvic floor. This is the first thing I do for my clients after hysterectomies or any surgery on their reproductive organs. And this is a practice I recommend to every single woman who has been sexually abused or is getting some level of trauma inside of our pelvic floor. So what you want to have ready for the practice is a place where you can lie down and feel very, very safe and very comfortable. It's totally fine to do it in the bed. You can do it lying on the sofa, lying on the floor, but the key here is to feel deeply, deeply safe. So you will begin the pelvic floor nidra practice by taking 40 womb breaths. Inhaling deeply, deeply into the womb, feeling the lower belly and womb expands. And exhaling, allowing the breath to be released through the womb, lungs, throat, all the way out of the nostrils. So the next inhale that you observe is number 40. Exhale is 39. Inhale, 38. Exhale, 37. On your own, all the way down to zero. If you find yourself 
drifting or losing count. Simply return back to the number 40. Keep your awareness on the filling and emptying of your womb. And now you want to relax all of your facial muscles, relaxing your scalp, softening your eyebrows, relaxing your right eye, your left eye, upper lip, lower lip, jaw, throat, scalp eyebrows, right eye, left eye, upper lip, lower lip, jaw and throat. Keeping your face open, relaxed and soft. And now you will go on a whole body mapping to foster a deep relaxation on every level of your being. Bring your awareness to your right hand thumb, index, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, palm of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, right side of the waist, hip, thigh, knee, shin, ankle, top of the foot, heel, sole of the foot, Right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, pinky toe. Left hand thumb, index, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, palm of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, Shoulder, armpit, left side of the waist, hip, thigh, knee, shin, ankle, top of the foot, heel, sole of the foot, left big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now take a moment and feel your body 
in its entirety. Noticing your breath, feeling where your body is making contact with the surface of the floor or the bed, and the sense of spaciousness and relaxation. Centering your awareness deep, deep inside of your womb. As you softly inhale, feel your womb filling with feelings of safety. And as you exhale, allow any tension, trauma or grief to leave her. Inhale, breathe safety deep inside of your womb and exhale, surrender with ease. Inhale, safety and exhale, surrender. Safety and surrender. And now going one layer deeper. Place all of your awareness on your pubic bone. Notice the ease with which your mind can fully focus on your pubic bone. And from here, slide your awareness down the right side of your vulva all the way to your perineum. Locate all of your presence in your perineum. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, begin to slide your awareness back up your right side of the vulva, returning to your pubic bone. moving at your own pace. Begin to move your awareness slowly, up and down the right side of your vulva. From your pubic bone to your perineum, and then from your perineum up to your pubic bone. With each pass, deliberately, begin to slow your pace down. Let's do it three more times, moving and down the right side of your vulva with increasing slowness. You do it with such a slowness that every nerve ending responds with presence and awareness. And then beginning to move your awareness slowly up and down the left side of your vulva. From your pubic bone to your perineum and then from your perineum up to your pubic bone. With each pass deliberately 
begin to slow your pace down. Let's do it three more times, moving up and down the left side of your vulva with increasing slowness. You do it with such a slowness that every one of your nerve endings responds with presence and awareness. And then bring your awareness into your anal sphincter, perineum, left side of the vulva, right side of the vulva, clitoris, pubic bone, pubic bone, clitoris, left side of the vagina, right side of the vagina perineum, anus. And as your body and your pelvic floor and your entire system are profoundly relaxed, your mind is now deeply receptive to adopting new states of being. So quietly repeating to yourself, I am deeply at home in my body. I am deeply at home in my body. I am safe and receptive to healing. I am safe and receptive to healing. My body is beautiful and I love to live inside of my skin. My body is beautiful and I love to live inside of my skin. Float, expand, open, accept. Love, be, surrender, And now it's time to come back. So you begin to deepen your breath, filling your belly, filling your chest, and audibly exhale. 10 rounds of deep conscious breaths. And with every breath, your body your mind, your womb and your pelvic floor starts to come more online.
welcoming yourself back in your space, back in your body. And your practice of pelvic floor nidra is now completed.